Signs, signs, what are signs? They can be any shape, size, or form, really. The good part, it's not actually that hard to learn because there is structure to it, which you will learn today. Let's start with the colors of road signs. Now, the color of a road sign tells you a lot about it. This is because certain colors only mean one thing. For example, yellow is reserved for warning signs. What are the other colors? Well, green means guide signs or directional information. Yellow warns of hazards ahead. Black and white indicates regulatory signs. These are signs that tell you what you must and must not do. Red means stop, yield, do not enter or wrong way. Brown indicates public recreation areas and other scenic guidance. Orange warns you of road work and maintenance ahead. Blue indicates service signs, but can also be used to identify parking spaces for drivers with disabilities. Fluorescent yellow and green is exclusively used for school zones and school signs. Now, before we continue, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe. It will really help our channel and more people will be able to find this video. Thank you. All right, so now you know the important colors, but what about shapes? Shapes also tell you a lot about a road sign. Some shapes are only used for one type of sign, like the stop sign. You will never see an octagon shaped sign being used for anything else than to indicate a stop sign. First off, we have the diamond shape. Diamond signs are used exclusively to warn drivers of upcoming hazards. So if you see a diamond shaped sign, you know that you're looking at a warning sign. Construction zones can also be identified with an orange diamond sign. Then we have the pennant. Pennant shaped signs always indicate a no passing zone. These signs are common on rural roads with two way traffic. No passing zones are usually placed in areas with limited visibility where passing is dangerous. You probably know the next one already, the octagon shaped sign. Stop signs are always octagonal and red, making them very difficult to miss. You must always come to a complete stop when facing a stop sign. And no, rolling stops are not okay. Then we have the equilateral triangle. Like the octagon, the equilateral triangle road sign only indicates one action, to yield. Yield signs are always red and triangle shaped and indicate that you need to slow down and be prepared to stop. Next up is the pentagon shaped sign. Pentagon shapes are used to warn of upcoming school or county zones. School zone markings are pentagonal and fluorescent yellow or green in color. Okay, we're almost done. What about vertical rectangles or squares? Rectangular signs, specifically those that are vertical, indicate regulatory signs. Regulatory signs say what you must or must not do. Now we will go through regulatory signs later in the video. Then we have the circle and crossbar, which actually indicates the same thing. Can you guess? That's right, a railroad crossing. Railroad crossing signs are hard to miss. They are often circle or crossbar and read the words railroad crossing in large letters. Before crossing the tracks, be sure to look both ways to avoid being struck by an oncoming train. And now on to the last two. First off, we have the interstate highway sign which indicates the route number of the interstate highway. Oftentimes, you will also find a direction marker on top of the sign, such as north or south. And finally, the horizontal rectangle and square. A horizontal rectangle generally indicates guide signs. Along with the green and blue colors, they are very difficult to miss. That's all of the shapes you need to know. Now, out of all the signs we've gone through, there are three types that are more important than the others, and they need a bit more explaining. These are regulatory signs, warning signs, and guide signs. Let's start with regulatory signs. Regulatory signs are black or white and are meant to remind motorists about traffic laws that exist on the current street. These types of signs come in several shapes and are usually enforced at all times, meaning that they must be followed. Some examples are speed limit signs, road closure signs, and one-way signs. Now, there are two types of regulatory signs. They can either tell you what you must do, mandatory, or what you must not do, prohibitory. Let's start with the first type, regulatory signs that tell you what you must do. They are used when drivers are required to carry out a designated task, such as turning or 
keeping a minimum speed. You must follow the directions on these signs in order to keep traffic flowing properly. Some examples are minimum speed signs, keep ahead signs, and left or right turn only signs. Then we have the second type, regulatory signs that prohibit you from doing something. These regulatory signs are made to prohibit or restrict certain types of vehicles or maneuvers, generally to prevent accidents from happening or occurring. Most of the time, they include a red circle with a diagonal line through it. Some examples are no turning signs, no entry signs, and no parking signs. Okay, that's regulatory signs. What about warning signs? Warning signs are used to alert motorists of possible hazards that may be approaching or other hazards that are difficult to spot. Warning signs are almost always yellow, but can come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Warning signs can also be orange, which warns you of certain construction hazards. Orange construction signs are usually placed to indicate the presence of construction workers that are operating on the road and often come with reduced speed requirements. In many places, this is considered an active work zone. Some examples of warning signs include the pedestrian crossing sign, the animal crossing ahead sign, winding road ahead, and speed bump sign ahead. And finally, let's go through guide signs. Some signs are meant to guide drivers along highways and county roads. These are guide signs. They are often there to display information such as mile markers and upcoming entry and exit points on highways. Guide signs are generally blue and or green, but can also be brown, which indicates natural parks and other recreational sites around the United States. Some examples of guide signs include rest stop signs, route number signs, recreational signs, highway entry, and exit signs. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to study more, press the link in the description.